Hello, welcome to Ian's Bricks. I'm Ian and today I'm going to be opening and unboxing and reviewing this set here. This is set number 60304, which are the new or the 2021 Lego uh, road plates. Um, these are actually bought for my Lego City, which I've not built yet, but I need some road plates. So uh, at first I wasn't particularly keen about these because I don't quite like the way that they, they look and I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, but I bought some anyway because they are quite small and compact compared to the old road pieces. And because my city is, is I haven't got much space for it, hopefully they should fit into the city reasonably well. So anyway, let's get this open and have a look and see what's inside. So you can see from the back of the box that uh, there are different layouts that you can do with the pieces that you get. Um, so uh, so let's get this open. We've got thumbtacks, so I'm going to be using my knife to get this open. Hopefully I can uh, do this without making too much of a mess. Well, I made a mess, but never mind. <laughs> let's see what we get then. Okay, I think that's everything. So we actually get an instruction booklet with this. Um, I think that just sort of shows you how to do the mini builds. It's fairly straightforward. Some traffic lights, some trees and flowers, a few signs, and then there's the road pieces themselves. Okay, so what do we actually get in the set? So we get four of the large 16 by 16 road plates. We get one of the uh, 8 by 16 uh, plates with the uh, zebra crossing on and we also get two other bags a bag of larger pieces here and a bag of smaller pieces as well so let's get this all built and see what it looks like so here we have the completed set. Uh, I think on, it own, on its own it looks uh, quite good. Um, I sort of like the way they, um, they do sort of fit together quite well and, and make quite a compact road. Um, one thing I, uh, I noticed straight away is that you don't get any extra pieces. So these 1x4s and 2x4s and the printed road, road strips, you don't get any extras at all. The only extras that you get are these extras here, which are just a few few flowers and stalks and things and, and extra traffic light pieces. Um, so, um, the, 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 which for me causes a little bit of a problem because you get these end pieces here, which are the um, uh, the the pieces that bring the road down, the curved pieces which bring the road down to a, a level. But if you've got quite a lot of these uh, together, um, you're not going to need these at all because because they're all going to be on the same level. So they're, they're kind of a waste of space. And also I don't particularly like these yellow speed bump things here um, at all. I just don't like them. Uh, I understand that um, you know pedestrian crossings have speed bumps in them sometimes, but um, for me um this this crossroads here this pedestrian crossing would would for me be the sort of the, the give way for the for the t-junction so um and also you get an extra an extra printed piece here for this side but then this this side here means that the, the crosswalk sort of just ends and, and finishes so um yeah i think it's going to be difficult to get extra pieces you're going to have to buy them from the secondary market um, I do quite like the the signs and the traffic lights. Uh, these here, these lights, if I can just take one off to sort of show you, they're relatively straightforward bills, uh, but they do actually have these pieces here, which as you can see, they're just slightly off white. They're actually glow in the dark, apparently, uh, which I can't really um, show you now, but apparently they're, they're glow in the dark. So I do like the fact that they've uh, They've given you a few extras, but again, whether you'd need all of these extras if you're buying lots of roads and doing a large road layout, you're probably going to probably going to end up with lots of spare pieces as well. Um, everything is printed, so there are no stickers in the set, so that's a big thumbs up from me. Um, and it's nice to get a few extra things like the, the trees and flowers. That's all sort of nice. Um, you get quite a few of these little green base plates. You get one, two, three, four, five of the 4x4 four four and three of the 4x8. Uh, so there's quite a few base plates going on. And again, when you get the row pieces together, uh, you're probably not going to need to have these uh, these extra bits at the side. My plan is, is to bring my modular build in sort of 
right in flushed into the corner of each uh, of each set so I kind of won't know, need these overhang bits here at all so it'll be interesting to see uh, how many more spare pieces I do need when I finally get my city together um, one thing that was interesting is how do cars look on it so the only car I've got available at the moment is this uh, Porsche Speed Champions which is actually an eight wide vehicle now as you can see it only just fits uh, I know a lot of uh, Lego vehicles are only six wide, so most city vehicles are six, but some of them are eight. Um, so uh, you can see that it's <laughs> that port looks really big. I mean, yeah, I mean, I know these these uh, Speed Champions cars aren't sort of really designed for cities, but it just sort of shows you on a, on a larger size vehicle, they kind of they do fit, but they're a bit tight. But um, anyway, it still it still works reasonably well. Uh, one limitation I do think as well with these uh, these pieces is you can't really do corners very well. So you're literally going to have to have T-junctions and crossroads uh, wherever you are, um, however you sort of do this. So no, I don't think I'm going to be able to do corners. People have tried to do corners and things like that, but uh, I never think it looks great. Uh, one thing I will show you as well, if I just move this slightly to the side, is how it looks against the old road pieces. Now this is actually quite an old set here. This is uh, set 7280. It's still sealed. This is from 2005 and Lego did do a slightly different version. But these are the old row plates. But what's quite good is you can actually see the straight one here and how it compares to, uh, to these here. Um, you can see that the width of them was considerably wider. Even sort of here you get an extra couple of pieces either side, uh, extra width. Uh, the lane markings down the middle were slightly narrow as well. Uh, obviously you did get this little piece at the side here which you could build on and attach but what is good of course is if you sort of put one of these here you can see that the, the new row plates even though they are smaller um, I think for a small city like I'm planning to have I think these are the way to go because these are nice I, I much prefer these 100% much prefer these but from a space perspective I think that the smaller the smaller row plates are definitely the way to go um, just because these take up quite a lot more space. Uh, these were considerably cheaper back in the day as well. I think the, the, the price for these were around about £10 uh, for the old, uh, the old Lego roads and £18 for this is you, you get in a crossroad and a straight in this one um, and you, you basically get in one, two, three, four, four and a bit, four and a half road pieces. Um, whereas that's, so each one of those is two. So yeah, so you, it, these are worth certainly value for money. You do get all the extra uh, bits and bobs as well, which are quite nice. Street furniture, it's not, not a bad thing to have extra. So they're my thoughts on the uh, Lego road plates. Uh, what do you think of them? Do you like them? Do you think they're better or worse than the old road plates? Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. It'd be interesting to see what, what people think. Um, one thing I did forget to mention as well in the main, uh, my main uh, sort of talk was how these infill pieces here look. Um, I actually think, I'm just going to zoom in on this so you can, I can show you. I understand how these sort of pieces have got to fit together but I always think these lines that you obviously get around each of the uh, the pieces that you infill I just think it looks messy um, I just don't like how it looks I know there's no other way around this but uh, it just sort of makes the road look a bit I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I, I do like the, the sort of older road plates where it's just a nice smooth flat surface so uh, yeah these bug me a little bit but again I'm gonna have to get used to it so um, so that's just tough I guess so what I've done here is I've taken off the the end curve pieces completely so they're all um, hopeless useless uh, we I've also taken off the yellow um, speed bumps as well because I don't like those um, and all I'm basically left with is one center road piece um, and as you can see, is I've actually put the, the 2x4s on the end here, so if you were to attach another road piece that would fit on quite well. There's sort of one, one missing there at that end, but you can see, even using the 2x2 two two pieces which were attached here, um, the I'm sort of quite a few, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 uh, 1x4 pieces missing from having a nice, a nice straight road. Um, so uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it's uh, something that sort of Lego have probably not thought about that people will need these extra pieces um, to sort of complete roads and and fit things together. 
Um, so yeah, I think it's a bit of an oversight by by Lego that they haven't sort of included extra extra pieces in here so that you can you know take all the street furniture away and and all that kind of stuff. So uh, slightly disappointing. I'll just also show you what the uh, the road looks like underneath. If I just lift that up to show you, and you can just see that they're just um, and they're two pieces, uh, two Lego pieces high, uh, so they've got little indentations in. Um, it, oh, it is fairly flimsy when they're together, so you can't really lift them up in a in a long line. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, as always, and take care.